big names will be all there fighting for the prize money, 80,000 US dollars. The winner gets prospect Imran Nazir. He's hit some big sixes. Was in Macrams at the other end. Youth and experience for Pakistan, left and right hander. Derek Crooks, also a lot of experience under his belt. He's going to take the ball. He's done a good job up front. There's Imran Nazir, just age 19. He's all pumped up to go. The big one, who will hoist the cup above their heads. The, here's Derek Crooks. And he swatted the first one away. Was it a no ball? Commitment in the field, just the one. No, it's two. They've managed to come. And he's hit the stumps, but uh, was he Macram home? So the whole competition has been lifted. The standard already, a lot of commitment. Lucky to get away with that, Derek Crooks. I thought it might have been a no ball above uh, waist high. Not to be. There he goes again. Has he hit it well enough? Has he caught it? No, he hasn't. It's six. And it was a no ball. And it was a no ball. So Derek Crooks feeling the pressure. Imran Nazir, he would have had his heart in his mouth for just a second because he knew he didn't get all of it. Alfonso Thomas, but couldn't hang on to the ball. Just dropped over the fence. Gone again. Imran Nazir. He hits it hard for a little man. Got that steely look in his eye too. He wants to take him on. And because the wicketkeeper has stood back, it's allowing Nazir to advance. He's done it again. He's been down the track every ball. This time just a single to long off. But if the keeper stands up, it does restrict the batsmen with their footwork. Yeah, good point. He's got no pads on, so I don't know quite how he would stand up. And it's uh, not a regular keeper, Lewis Bossman. And they've opted for this uh, all the way back. Gives away the bye. Wazim's off too. Just the single. And what an over. 22 for no wicket. Now one ball remaining. Must have been for the... He's looked for the wide. The batsman. But Bob Fotheringham has said no wide. 22 for none. Just the single, and that uh, mightn't be a bad thing from a Pakistan point of view. Imran Nazir is the man who is really exciting us with his big hitting. He's gone again, Imran Nazir. When he hits him, they stay hit. Pakistan taking the South African bowling apart. That's been their strength throughout the tournament, but uh, the Pakistan is making a mockery of this town. It was so low, it hit low on the bat. Not easy to hit a low full toss uh, for four, never mind six. Very orthodox stance. And everything right about uh, Nazir, and he hits him hard. There he goes again. Swatted this away on the offside, giving himself a little bit of room. That certainly wasn't orthodox in execution. But another boundary. He's racing towards the 31, Imran Nazir. This takes him to 29. Just a little bit of room. Backs his eye. Oh, he's nowhere near it. What does he do now, Henry Williams? Oh, that's a good delivery. Just the single. come out and blitz the South African bowlers and hardly had time to settle down and there's 34 on the board and has got 30 of them and the spectators have really enjoyed this and uh, 
Mozzie Makram, who's now going to face, has had a bird's eye view of a young man who's got a future in Pakistan cricket. Well, he's going to join in the fun. Imran, if you can hit it for six, so can I. 40 of two. With the two fours, don't worry about the singles. Not even a factor. Now, what's going through his mind? He's still uh, a very young man. He's got another young man to bowl to who's in prime touch. And that's a high ball. Very, very high. And out. Well taken by Derek Crooks. Got underneath it. Alfonso Thomas strikes. And that's a big wicket for South Africa. They really did need that. Oh, but what a knock. 12 balls. Wazim's after him and has got him too. This is carnage. Sixes everywhere. What a shot. He is in phenomenal form. He looks so fit as well around the background. He never moved. The moment he hit this, he knew it was six. It was one of those. Please take a photograph of this. The real pose is having a perler. Great call. And that's an edge for four. He's got better eyes than I've got. Uh, I thought it was a little unlucky, Alfonso Thomas. He thought so as well, but Fotheringham got, got, got it completely right. 50 up for Pakistan. And going like a tracer bullet here. Not always where they want it to go, but uh, four nevertheless. And when you think of their bowling attack, Razak, Akram, it will be tough for the South Africans. There's the pose again. He's got it square of the wicket. There's only one on the offside. Remember that. And he's got enough bat to get four. So not only are the sixes flowing, but there's a little bit of thinking going on out there from Wazi Makram. He knows there's a big space there. Down on the back knee. Speed from Akram. Straight to long off. Hit like a bullet, but just the single. More than uh, halfway through the innings now. One ball remaining in the third over. Another good one for Pakistan with their bowlers I think they'll be confident of defending 75 or 80 they'll want a few more but no one has taken their bowling apart so far in these two days well Afridi's joining what a shot that is that is a superb shot he's actually hit it over backward point intentionally for six Hope the Pakistanis don't lift it over the rope. Well bowled, and this could be a run out. Yes, it is. Andrew Hall. He'd be delighted with that terrific footwork. Was him at Graham. Graham's run out for 23. Well played. It was off only nine balls, but uh, we've had two.